the room looks like so this is my dressing table very messy all our products little bench all hair drying stuff under there drawers and then baby's mattress car seat bath rug and then there's just this little bit here which is where i put all my bags and stuff and then these are the wardrobes which will be getting changed into more baby safe well just look nice so we don't want any doors on we just want it like nice and open so it's a small room currently a mess currently my dressing room slash hoarding baby stuff but it's about to change so the joiner is coming today to do this room so we had some wardrobes fitted here all the way to the top and we knocked them out but we just can't get rid of this frame because all these wires for the burglar alarm were attached that got removed the other day and now the joiner is starting today so now that we've knocked them out obviously the room looks loads bigger because they were just solid wardrobes and then inside there was just one rail here and then there was just shelving all the way to here all the way up so it was really hard to store stuff because obviously as you can see it's actually quite wide so the shelving went really far back it's quite high up like this is chest height for me so i couldn't really reach anything so we want it more baby friendly open space open plan i'm going to have two rails and some shelving but the shelving is going to be at the back of the wall so that i can still reach it and then everything else is just baby stuff that's storing in here because obviously this room's not finished so now i'm going to literally drag all this stuff out and put it into our bedroom and the spare room so that the joiner can start without ruining anything ruining anything or anything getting dusty there's still photos on the wall from when this was my dressing room and then there's these shelves here which we are keeping in and i'm just going to give them a good dust obviously when the joiner's finished and get some nice baskets so we can use that for storage and shelving so the plan is to get these wardrobes done get all the plaster work finished like all this paint that wall a different colour I'm just not sure what colour yet keep all this white so this was only done last year so I actually think that we're not going to redo it and then yeah let's see what transformation we come up with so just a quick update on the nursery this is a shelf obviously which is going to be full of like baskets and then this shelf here is going to go on that wall there and hide that wire so it's not as deep and what i'm probably going to do with this one is just put things like teddies and shoes and things on there and then we are having two railings put here I've just popped this rug on because I just think it actually looks quite nice. The railings will come to about here and then I'm just going to have a box with some things in. So that is all that's done. You can see now, now that it's all knocked out, the room looks so much bigger. Because it's going to be a baby's room, it doesn't need loads and loads of storage. And I just thought it would. it's a lot nicer open plan because it just makes the room look so much bigger. And then the cot's going to go here. So if the cot was there and this was still to the ceiling, it would just make the room look so tiny. And I just think it adds so much light. So hopefully in about a week, these shelves will be finished and we can start getting the railings in. Then we can build the cot and then I can gradually start to show you the baby's nursery properly. Obviously, it's all going to be in this video. So just keep your eyes peeled. So the shelves are now in and I've got my baskets up there. This has not yet been finished. So this plan is going to go over to the other side of the room on a shelf that I've ordered. And then up there I'm just going to pop all the teddies. So baskets are just full of like nappies and muslins and towels. These are not full of anything so I haven't decided what's going in there yet. Burglar alarm is back on the wall. And then we just are waiting on two railings to come out here which then the clothes will be popped on 
the cot is going here and then photo frames and then this is the dresser unit and the mirror that's up and then there's some shelves going there so we are still not finished i am now 34 weeks in two days time so 34 weeks and the nursery isn't finished but it's not the end of the world because the baby will not be in here i just wanted to make sure that all the clothes were set up so as soon as the railings arrive and the cot is up then it will be a lot more finished than what it looked but so far i'm really really pleased with it if you remember rightly the wardrobes were literally all the way up to the ceiling from this point so it just makes the room look so much bigger and i am so pleased with the outcome This is Casper's nursery, now all finished. So there is just a few more finishing touches that we need to do. So I just need to find some prints for this frame and this frame here. And then obviously we need to get a blind as well. So if you are new to my channel, you will not know that I didn't know the sex of the baby. So this was a unisex nursery when it was being decorated. And obviously I've already had my little boy now, so it's a boy, obviously. And we just need to add a few finishing touches. So it's still quite unisex, I guess. It's just grey and white and black, like quite a bit of monochrome around. And then we just need to get a blind, which I'm going to add a little bit of blue. And then obviously just the prints on the wall. So this obviously was the full length wardrobe so it's now been turned into a gorgeous open space little shelving wardrobe so in these baskets here we have lots of clothing so all the clothing in casper's neck size up so he doesn't currently wear anything in these boxes we've then got these little baskets here so this one's got bibs in it this one's got hats in it and the top one's just got like little random bits in there's like a few teddies up there We've got his trainers and then there's these gorgeous railings. So these are from Etsy, these railings and I think they were 50 centimetres long so they're obviously just attached to the wall. So he's got all his sort of not three, three, six months clothes on the bottom and then at the top is all six months plus so he won't be wearing any of that anytime soon. There's then just a little box of blankets and just random things. I do need a few more of these and I'm just literally going to layer them across underneath like this. Unfortunately, this is the burglar alarm box and we couldn't do anything else with it. So it is literally just there. We can't really hide it any other way. Then we've got his beautiful cot bed with some gorgeous monochrome cot sheets in got this beautiful personalised cushion that my friend bought that you put like a little story in and then just this gorgeous Zara cloud cushion got loads of gorgeous personalised little name things that we got for obviously him being born then his chest of drawers so all his clothes that he wears are currently in here and a lot of them are in the wash so the top two are clothes and baby grows and then the bottom one is full of nappies and wipes then obviously wash basket and this was in my dressing room before so this all had all of my handbags on it and it's now just got like random bits on so like bath wash body butters muslins things like that Obviously he's got some books, so all the books were bought as presents, we've not actually had to buy any books. So my dad does most of the DIY in here and then a mirror. This mirror was like um, an orangey pine colour and we just painted it white. It was one of my lockdown things that I did just because I was a little bit bored. But I just can't believe how much bigger this room looks from taking the wardrobe out. It literally adds so much space, it's so much lighter, it's so much area and... I just think it's a gorgeous little room like I don't when I first realized that we would be putting the baby in this room I did think god it's gonna be tiny but I really think there's actually a lot of size like even if when he gets a bit older and we we're having to buy toys and things there's still space down there there's space down here 
and obviously now that this has been knocked out it just adds so much more room obviously this went straight up to the ceiling so you can imagine and you probably saw it from the video before how much light it took out of this room and it just looks so much bigger and so much better I will link as many things as possible in the description box below so I'll link things that are on here and then obviously where the railings are from, the cot, the dressing table, the changing mat, all the little basket separators, wash basket, rug, shelf. I'll try and tag everything in the description. So it was a quick and simple vlog. Obviously it's been getting filmed from since April, probably April this year and it's now October so this nursery has been a long time coming. It's taken, like just ignore all them bags out there as well, that's loads of his clothes. It's taken a long time to finish the project. Obviously not knowing the sex was difficult as well because you can't add all the finishing touches. But thank you so much for watching our little vlog, our little nursery vlog and I will see you guys in the next video.